hey guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be doing a watercolor using a 613 wig from O'Shea's House of Beauty and we'll be coloring it with the Kiss Express color in yellow and right here I have a bottle of hot boiling hot water so I'm pouring the Kiss um, color into it the Kiss dye into the water as you can see yeah and listen i can't let this thing waste so yeah i'm trying to get everything Shh, don't say a word <laughs> just watch so i had a half you know half bottle of dye so that's what i used first so i went ahead and opened a new one and this is what i'm pouring in now so I'm going to go ahead and mix the dye into that water so we don't have any lump or anything. It's all mixed out. And this is the wig that we'll be um, dyeing today. It's a 613 bob. And yeah, baby, yeah. This um, wig was requested by a um, customer. So I'm dyeing it for a customer. She wanted a yellow bob something like I had on the website so yes I'm gonna deliver like Jesus did delivered I don't know if you guys know this but dyeing a hair yellow is very difficult um, the hair doesn't normally take it at the first take so what I normally do is let it sit for a while and then yeah this is the result after i let it sit for probably about an hour or two i let it sit for as long as i think it needs to sit for and yeah this is the result nice yellow color so what i'm doing now i'm just using the odd comb to define the part and to lay the hair in the direction that i want it to be you know laid in So I'm going over the roots of this um, here, especially the front, because I want it to be laid as flat as possible. So I'll be going through it a couple of times with the hot comb, just to ensure that it's laid flat. I don't want it to be bulky, so we're just going to ensure that that doesn't happen. And normally I part just where the lace meets the weft. I normally part there and go over it with the hot comb also just to lay it so it is not bulky because if you don't do that it's it can be bulky and also the weft of the, um, the bundles um, tend to show so I normally just use some of the hair from the lace to cover over the weft and then I use the hot comb just to go over it to ensure that it's laid over it and it's also flat. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron the hair before I cut it. I just prefer to flat iron first because in my mind I just think that, you know, if I cut it, it's not going to be straight because the hair is not straightened. So I straighten the hair first and then I go ahead and cut it and it's always perfect. So that's what I do. That's just my little technique that I do. guys this wig is from O'Shea's House of Beauty there will be a link in the description box that will take you directly to the website where you could make a purchase of this wig if you wanna Request my chariot, get ya 
So I'll just be going through with my flat iron and straightening the hair. So just stay tuned guys and I'll be right back after we're done this segment. Impression you open, we should be close to friends. If you open, engaging, use all my intent. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open, take the hot road and hop in. First impression you open, we should be close to friends. If you open, engaging, use all my intent. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you open. We should be close to friends. If you open, engaging, use all my intent. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you open. We should be close to friends. If you open, engaging, use all my intent. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open, take the hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up the smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way 
as he's approaching us. I disassociate, exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's close enough. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest, and it's hard to open up. Open you up like a punk. So this part looks a little bit crooked or weird to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and straighten it or fix it. It just doesn't look right. And I can't look past it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's, it's not. It's very easy. You see, it's an easy fix. So I'm just going in again with the hot comb just to lay the hair, you know, in place. I know you guys probably think I forgot or you maybe think that I'm not going to make any baby hair. Hell no. Nah. We making our baby hair, girl. Yeah. I love me some baby hair. Not too much, but yeah. A little won't hurt. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Just a little bit. So what I'm doing, I'm just parting out. I'm sectioning out my baby here so I can cut it and get it going. So I'll be cutting my baby hair using this razor comb and I'll be cutting them short because to me the shorter the better uh, the baby hair and as you can see I don't use a lot of hair so my baby hair is they're not too much they're just just right. Okay guys, so today I'll be laying my baby hair using mousse. I use many different things. I use um, the got to be gel. I use whatever, but today I'll be using mousse and I prefer using mousse, okay? You could use whatever brand mousse you wanna use, but today I'm using this mousse from Erica J. You could go check her out if you wanna, or you could use whatever you want to use. And just a uh, FYI, when you purchase your wigs from O'Shea's House of Beauty, you get them customized, ready to put on. So the knots are bleached, your baby hairs are made if you want to, your um, edges are plucked, it's just ready to be put on. And I also tint the lace if you want your lace to be tinted. So everything is done. It's just ready to put on. Take out the pack and put it on your head when you get it. So the lace um, at the front is a little bit too loose while making the baby here. So what I'm going to do is get another um, T-pin and pin it down, you know, where it's as flat and firm as possible. Because when I'm trying to make the baby here, the lace isn't moving, so I'm not able to do it right. As you can see, you know, that's perfect now. Yep. So that's a, just a little bit of in. When you're making your baby hair, you just pin the, the lace down as flat as fir and firm as possible, and you'll be totally fine.
so we'll be moving over to the other side and it will be the same process we'll just be laying the baby here cutting them and laying them yeah So as you might see, um, the mannequin was swinging a lot on the tripod. So I had to put something over it to make it stand firm because when I'm trying to, you know, style the hair or do anything, it's just moving all over the place. So what I did, I had this Torberge bag close by that a slipper came in and I just threw it over it and that solved the problem immediately. I see persons put like a rag or something over it, but th this was close by, so I just used that. So I'm going in again with my hot comb and a hot comb is gonna be your best friend in styling these wigs because baby, it lays the hair perfectly. It just, it makes your work easier. Instead of parting and going through with the flat iron, you just use that hot comb and run it through it. And it just lays the hair, lays a fly away. It takes care of a lot of stuff. So if you don't have one, you need to invest in it. Okay, so now I'm just doing my final touch-ups, just going over the hair, looking through, ensure that everything is laid and slayed, you know, and done to perfection because this is going to a customer and you know you want your customers to be satisfied so i'm just going through and ensuring that everything is perfectly done and we'll be through in a minute okay guys so we're coming to the end um i thought i was recording while i was cutting but unfortunately i wasn't so that's not in the video however um if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and do so like comment share and turn your post notifications on and until then this is it for the video this is the final look guys leave a comment and let me know how you feel if you would want to see a different look or something leave a comment also until then goodbye